I just sort of happened to um, wind up with the exact right job at the exact right time in history, which was at Digital Equipment Corporation, um, where the fundamental kind of ways of doing things um, in, in a large network were being um, invented. And I was, um, my, my piece was the distributed algorithm by which, distributed means um, all the pieces kind of cooperate to do their own thing. So um, my piece was um, allowing somebody to plug things together in arbitrary ways without needing to do anything more than just plug them together and have the um, um, network self-organize in a way that's um, scalable and um, robust, which sounds easy, but previous ways of doing it, um, if there was just a little bit of a glitch or, or a bad message that got put in, the entire network would be down. And obviously, if the internet were that fragile today, it wouldn't work at all. So the stuff I did just made the internet very easy to self-organize and, um, and be scalable and robust. Um, ironically, I'm better known for the spanning tree algorithm, perhaps because it has a nice short name, spanning tree algorithm, um, and also partly because of the uh, story of how it got invented. But first of all, what is it? Um, Ethernet started out as just a single link, a single wire, and it could only scale to a few hundred um, uh, nodes on it because there was um, anybody could talk whenever they wanted, everybody could hear when everybody else talked, so that was what limited its scalability. Um, I actually, to my horror, people was, were very confused about Ethernet and thought that it was the new way of doing networking instead of what I was doing, which was having a distributed algorithm that figured out how to move the data. Uh, this was just supposed to be a single link that just happened to wire a whole bunch of nodes together, but it should only be a single link in a network. There, You still needed the network protocol to move um, data from one Ethernet to a, a link to another. But because people got confused, they were building without my layer in it. So I did try to argue, and I said, no, no, you still need my layer, and, uh, or layer three, and they said, oh, you're just upset because no one needs your layer anymore, um, so go away. And I said, but you may want to talk from one Ethernet to another. And they said, our customers would never want to do that. So years later, <laughs> um, surprise, they did want to talk beyond a single Ethernet. And so the problem that I was tasked with was without changing um, the end nodes, um, they just wanted to think they were on a single link. And without changing um, um, the Ethernet packet in any way, because there was a hard size limit and there was not any spare fields at all, it was how to design a magic box that would move the data around, um, move Ethernet packets around. And Ethernet was not really designed to do that. And so I did what I thought was just a very um, quick hack that would last for a year or two until, until people put uh, layer three back into their network stacks. So um, it was just a very simple idea that you just move the packets around and learn um, based on where you receive a packet from um, where all the end nodes are by looking at the source address and the port that you received it. But this only works if there's only one path from any place to any other place. So uh, that comes with the name spanning means reach everything, tree means only one way to get there. So um, the story was that my manager asked me to do this problem uh, late on a Friday and he thought it was going to be really hard. Um, and then he was gone for the whole next week. And this was before the days of cell phones or email or electricity or whatever. Um, so um, that night I realized, oh my goodness, it's really simple. And I you know, could prove that it worked, um, an, an extremely simple algorithm. And I spent Monday and Tuesday writing the spec in enough detail that 
the implementers got it working in just a couple of months without asking me a single question. And then the remainder of the week, where I couldn't concentrate on anything else because I needed to show off to my manager who wasn't around, um, I spent working on the poem, which is the abstract of the paper in which the um, algorithm was published. So the poem is, I think that I shall never see a graph more lovely than a tree, a tree whose crucial property is loop-free connectivity, a tree which must be sure to span so packets can reach every land. First the root must be selected, by ID it is elected, least cost paths from root are traced, in the tree these paths are placed, a mesh is made by folks like me, then bridges find a spanning tree. I mean, obviously, it's incredibly exciting and, and gratifying because when you do design something, you would love to see it actually deployed. And I do know that although it probably would have all been invented without any one person, um, some alternate design, I, I would like to believe that because it was me that designed it, um, it's much more self-configuring, much more robust than it would have been without me.